Saturday, July 15th, and a uh, quick video, we'll see how quick it is, of what's been going on in my shop since uh, the big round table left uh, a little over a month ago. It was early June, and I had that big round table sitting right where um, this dolly with some tools on it is. Those of you that have seen my videos uh, can maybe remember that big, large project. Well, it's gone, and I've been working on some other things in the barn, mostly the infrastructure of the barn uh, shop itself. So the main thing is I've been uh, putting insulation in the walls and then covering it with oriented strand board, painting it white so it reflects some light into here, and uh, getting some insulation. Actually, it's not insulation. It's this Mylar bubble wrap uh, uh, tacked to the ceiling, and it will reflect the heat down in the wintertime um, from the heater. I've got the heater that did get put in uh, last winter, so I was able to do some things out here when I absolutely had to, but so much heat was going out through the cracks and stuff, so um, this summer I've been uh, using this uh, pink foam, it's two inch thick uh, styrofoam insulation. I think the R factor is 10, I think that 150 has got something to do with the density, but not the uh, insulating factor. Anyway, I've I've been lining all the walls inside of it, so I'm, I'm losing a, a couple of inches of inside space, but it seemed quicker uh, than trying to blow insulation from the outside, plus having to deal with uh, civic authorities, which I could have gotten permission, but that's just one more uh, hassle. So I've uh, been insulating um, all the inside walls uh, with the pink foam, then covering it with the uh, the OSB, this chipboard, which is all compressed uh, wooden chips, you can see. It's usually used for um, for roofing. But I've put that up along all the walls and then painted it white, and that helps put uh, reflect some light down. I'm not sure my camera does a good job of showing it. Now, the other thing we've been doing is uh, my friend John Hilligans has come out and helped me uh, hook up a bunch of wiring. So we put in a couple more breakers. Um, have one more to put in, so you can see that one uh, wire that's out there, that's 12 gauge, that'll run out of a 20 amp uh, circuit. But we have a couple more uh, circuits in that weren't here before. The uh, 14 gauge runs up, we put in this track overhead, and I'll, I'll put on one more facing board on there, but you can see just to keep the wires um, out of space, but they will be somewhat accessible. Is that the right word? Anyway, we can get at them if we need to. They run all the way around the top, go around that edge over there and over to that corner. Now I may finish off going over there and get some over there too, but uh, there's a circuit that will, a 20 amp uh, breaker will run that circuit. And um, this one on this post, which I encased the post also to make it somewhat uh, uh, workable. So the, those are some of the things that have been going on here in the shop. I hope once uh, all the uh, actual infrastructure work is done to organize it in such a way that it just doesn't turn into this all over the place. Anyone that's been in any of my shops, whether the U of M machine shop or the shop in the basement or out here, knows that this is what I tend to do is just stick stuff and then it stays there, it gets in the way, and uh, prohibits you from actually working very efficiently. So I hope to develop some new habits in this space by uh, working more efficiently and therefore also creating um, any other storage that needs to be um, uh, used so that things don't just gather all over the place. But that's a start for now much brighter in here and I hope it'll be uh, much warmer to work in the winter out here at Woodward Woodworks. I don't have a Patreon account. I don't care if you like or subscribe to my channel. Just thanks for looking at my video. Hope you have a great day.